Hello everyone and uh, welcome again from the DAC Forum uh, to this third webinar now in the series that we are running this year about the new wireless technology DAC 10 R Plus. Uh, and today we will start uh, looking into the upper layers of the technology. We start from the system topologies and deployment uh, use cases, uh, how the uh, forming of the networks is happening, how the routing in mesh network is, is happening, uh, followed by the end-to-end -end protocol functions, link specific protocol functions and details of the channel access. So let's start with the, from the system topologies that this uh, DEC 2020 uh, or uh, new radio standard or DEC NR Plus is supporting. The design has been designed so that you can have multiple overlapping networks. So, so uh, Spectrum uh, uh, 1880 MHz to 1900 MHz in Europe, for example, the dedicated earmark for the DEC uh, Spectrum, you can use multiple networks overlapping each other and in other spectrum even more. You can increase the capacity by increasing more backend connectivity system, uh, connectivity points. So basically, the system reorganizes by itself when it detects that there's new backend connectivity points and the cluster tree is formulated again. Summary is that we have a radio technology, radio protocol la layers which are flexible. We can do, uh, and it's all the way from the IP application to the physical layer, the protocol has been defined. Uh, we have a different architecture options uh, that we can support with the same, same design. Uh, and there's a link specific and end-to-end uh, -end functionalities. And uh, basic functionality is there. It's frequency independent and, uh, and can operate on different, different frequency bands also. So um, I'd just like to uh, say that the next session on the lower layers will be uh, on the 19th of October and of course we'll send out invitations for that.